Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Prius Technology Advanced. Now the most notable features on this Technology Advanced is its parking sensors. You also have your wireless charging pad and your blind spot monitoring. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Prius Technology Advanced. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Technology Advanced is its daytime running lights and then if we take a look just at the front bumper you're going to see your parking sensors and over on the side you're going to see your 15 inch wheels. Now you also have your vortex generators as well as your foldable mirrors, heated mirrors. The other nice thing with the Technology Advanced is it does have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times, and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat and lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you're going to see your traction control on and off as well as your automatic headlights. And then on the inside of your driver's side door you have your mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls with your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control as well as your scroll function, trip info, Bluetooth with voice recognition, and then you'll also find your scroll function for your multi-informational display with your lane departure alert and your cruise control. Now one of the interesting things with the Prius is that your driver's side dash is going to be located in the center here, and if you take a look here you're going to see a couple of different options which include just over on your right hand side you have your fuel indicator as well as a exterior temperature gauge. Your digital speedometer is located there as well. And then if we take a look at the menu here, you're going to see your energy monitor system. And then scrolling through you have your HV system, fuel consumption record, driver monitor, eco savings, eco diary. And then if we scroll over to your right you can take a look at your navigation, your audio. You also have your climate control settings in here as well. Lane departure alert messages and then scrolling over once more you're gonna see your settings menu for your lane departure alert steering assist mode lane departure sensitivity pre-collision system sensitivity parking sensors and then you also have your sonar blind spot monitoring on and off lane sway warning and then you have the sensitivity and then you have your clock settings in here as well Now over on the right you're also going to see your digital clock and then taking a look at the center dash here you're going to see your hazard lights. Heading into the apps menu you're going to see your navigation, audio, phone as well as a couple of other additional features. Down below you do have your temperature control settings for your automatic climate control with your front, rear and mirror defroster. Now located just underneath here you're going to see your um, park and then you have it matted to an automatic transmission and taking a look you have your drive mode as well as your EV mode and down below here is where you're going to find your wireless charging pad so the on button for that is just going to be located over on your right here so once you have it turned on you can just place your phone on top and have it ch uh, start charging for you just while you're driving now back here you're also going to find the power outlet as well as the USB and auxiliary and up top you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with your integrated garage door opener and a couple of the controls you'll see at the top here include your open and close as well as your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof and then you have your light controls just at the top here as well. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper you're going to see your parking sensors just located on the sides here. And then if we take a look just on the back of the tailgate here you'll find your backup camera on the left hand side and your rear hatch lease located underneath your Toyota emblem. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now the nice thing is you do need the additional space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat. And then you also have the tonneau cover in the back here, so the nice thing with that is if you need to hide away some of your valuables just while you're going from place to place, you can use it this way. And if we take a look just underneath the floor, you'll find your tire inflation kit as well as your jack and your tool kit. So if you ever find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located.
Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.